Well, Merry Christmas. How are you? You made it to our Christmas Eve pandemic service extravaganza. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming out tonight. And everyone in the cars, we're so glad that you could be here and be safe with us as well. Hey, we're going to get started in just a minute. I just wanted to explain a few things so that we're being safe together. So as we're out here, please just make sure your physical distance is, is with people that's appropriate and safe, that your mask is on, and, and we're going to have a great time. We're going to have some songs, and we want to invite you to sing along if you know them or just sit back and take it in. And if you didn't yet get your candle, which we'll be using a little bit later in the service, please raise your hand, and we'll have someone bring that to you. But we're going to get ready to kick things off. And so I'm going to pray for us, and we'll get started. Sound good? Woo. All right. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> Oh, Father, thank you that we are here tonight to celebrate what you have done in the gift of your Son. And Jesus, we are so grateful that you came. You came that we could have life. And so we want to celebrate you tonight as we sing and connect and hang out in this space together. And so here we come into your presence. Come and meet with us. Amen. Amen. To the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains Repeat the sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy Repeat, repeat the sounding joy He rules the world with truth and grace And makes the nations prove And wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders, wonders of his love, and wonders, wonders of his love, and wonders, wonders of his
little bit cold. chattery. Yes, cold. And we might not remember all the lyrics, and I promise you I'm going to forget some as we go along. So, But we invite you to join us, sing along, mumble through some of the words if you want. That's fine. I will. Um, um, whatever, whatever works. And then it wouldn't be Christmas without a cheesy transition. So, Sarah. Yes, can, can, Justin. Can you see the Bethlehem star? No, no, I cannot. No, that's because it came upon a midnight clear. And there's clouds. It came upon a midnight clear, that glorious song of From angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of
star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light, guide us to thy perfect light. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año y 
Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad Prospero año y felicidad I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas From the bottom of my heart Feliz Navidad Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. We wanna wish, I wanna wish you a man. A Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. Christmas Eve All the pretty presents are under the tree Outside the snow is falling so softly And I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve Tonight, families here at last, spirits are right. We'll be singing carols to our newborn king, and I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve. In the rush of it all, I steal away and thank the Lord for this blessed day. I hear the bells, I hear the choirs, I feel the warmth of the candlelight fire. And I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve. Outside the snow is falling so softly And I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve No, I can't believe it's already Christmas Eve Merry Christmas, everybody. What a great night to be able to come out together and celebrate Christmas. And when I think about Christmas, I always think of the Christmas story and I think of all the different things that are there. And, and I, I love how John, one of Jesus' closest friends, begins his account of the life of Jesus. So John starts his story not with the baby in the manger, not with shepherds in the field. John actually starts at the beginning, like like the very, very beginning of it all. And, and this is what John says about Jesus as he starts his account of Jesus' life. In John 1, he says, in the beginning, like the Genesis beginning, <laughs> in the beginning, the Word 
already existed. In the Word, he's talking about Jesus. And he said the Word was with God, that Jesus was with God, and the Word was God. And he existed in the beginning with God, and God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. And the Word gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. And I love that John takes us there because John wants us to understand that Jesus was so much more than what anyone had expected or realized when they first met him. And so John takes us to this moment so that we would understand that Jesus is the one that that behind the veil and the curtain of all reality, Jesus is the one who's shining the light of life on everyone. That Jesus was there, that Jesus was somehow God. It's why one of the reasons, one of the names that he was given was Emmanuel, which means God with us. And Jesus is shining the light of life on all of us. And it's beautiful when you experience light shining on you, when you experience light showing up in your story, because light, it it illuminates darkness, and, and it reveals what's going on. It reveals the truth of what's happening all around us. I I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you're stumbling about in the dark, but when you get light, it's very helpful. Years ago, I'd gotten up in the middle of the night to go get a drink of water, and I'm stumbling through our home on my way to the kitchen, and I'm walking through the living room, and I suddenly see in the murkiness of the, the dark this looming shadow in the corner of our living room, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is it. Somebody's broken in, but it's too big to be a person, so now I'm thinking it's a monster or something. And I'm panicking in this moment, and in my, my fear, I'm trying to find the light switch, and I finally flick it on, and I see that it's our Christmas tree that we had set up earlier that day, and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> and yet that moment when the light shone, shone, it was such a beautiful moment, because light is a beautiful thing. It illuminates darkness, and it reveals the truth of what's going on around us. Yet at the same time, I think that, that light can sometimes be a little unnerving, because not only does light illuminate what's going on around us, it also reveals us. And there are things in my life that I, I don't know if I necessarily want to have illuminated. There, there's things in my story that, that I'm embarrassed about. There's things that I'm sometimes even ashamed of. And so I wrestle with this idea of light coming into the world because I look really good in the dark. <laughs> but you shine the light on and there's certain things I'm like, no, I need an Instagram filter for that part of my life. And, and yet here's Jesus shining the light in the world and And our hope is that Jesus didn't come to shine the light to expose us. He came to shine his light to invite us into something beautiful so that we could be found once again. So that we could be found in God's love. God's love that he shows us through the gift of his son, through Jesus. And when we step into that light of life, Our lives are transformed forever. And so I love what John says, that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. That there is nothing in the dark that cannot be embraced and transformed in his light, the light of his love. And that's what Christmas is all about. That's what we're celebrating tonight as we gather here. That's the hope that we have, that Jesus, the light of the world, the light of love, has come to lead us into God's love and life with God once again. And so Merry Christmas. There's hope in our world. There's hope for each of our stories. And so tonight we're going to continue and celebrate him, and we're going to honor him, and we're going to shine a light in this dark parking lot a light that reflects the reality of God's love in our own story, but our ability to now shine that light in the world around us to those near us. And so you should have gotten a candle on your way in, a little LED candle, and and I want you to to get that out. Don't turn it on just yet. If it's on already, don't worry. That's fine. But on the bottom's a little switch. You're going to flick it on when it's time. But we're going to get these candles out. And and in just a minute, we're going to sing a classic song. That's a symbol of the beauty of the light coming to the world together. And so let's do this. Let's honor the one who's come for us tonight in this place. And so, Jesus, thank you. Thank you that you've come for us. 
Thank you that you stepped into the darkness of this world because you did not abandon us. Thank you that because of you, we can have the light of life once again. And so even in this crazy year, don't let us miss that. The hope of you come into our story. The hope of you come into our world. The light of life shining on us. So tonight we stand to remember you. We light these candles to represent your light come into our story, changing us forever, but the chance for us now to shine that light in the dark world so others would know you too. And so thank you for being for us and being in our story. Amen. So as we sing this song, light your lights. Sleep. 